everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Charlene Clemson, mommy to four boys, wife to Tom, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I set up our hot chocolate station. Ready for Christmas, I'm so excited. You may have seen we put up our Christmas tree at the weekend, so I'm doing this today to surprise the boys. They're all at school today, so I've got the time to do it myself without them like trying to muscle in. Um, so what I'll do is I'll show you everything that I've made, everything that I've purchased, just a few little bits and bobs from the pan shop, but most of it, I've actually collected up from around the house and just taken little bits from here and there that I can use. We have a table in our kitchen that's one of those fold away tables and we use it kind of as a sideboard. So I'm just gonna clean all that down and get it all set up. I'll, first of all though, I will show you what I've got, the bits that I've bought food wise, the little few decorations that I've bought and then everything else is stuff that we have in and around the home anyway. So it doesn't have to be an expensive thing to do in your house for Christmas, but it's just a really lovely thing to have. The boys get so excited every year when I do this. Um, I may even film their reaction when they get in from school if I remember. So fingers crossed I'll remember to do that. But yeah, I'll show you now everything that I use. And if you do like these sorts of videos, then please stick around, hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. And then all over Christmas, as we're uploading our festive videos, you'll be able to watch them and enjoy them with us. And if you do like the channel, then please do stick around. There's gonna be mom hacks, Christmas makes, um, family vlogs, loads of different things. So without further ado, I've chatted long enough. Let's get into it. So this is everything that I'll use to set up the hot chocolate station. So there's loads of different bits and pieces. Um, I'll just go through what everything is. You may even recognise some pieces if you are in the UK. This three tier stand is actually from TK Maxx. I've had it for a long time. It cost me £12. But I know that you can get things like that on um, Amazon and on all, um, all like the homeware sites and that kind of thing. Now they're very popular in the UK now. So you can grab one reasonably priced pretty much from anywhere then we've got our stack of christmas mugs there's four mugs there so it's perfect for us i had that from asda last year because we've got the four boys and then mommy and daddy have got our winking santa mugs again these were from asda last year but i know that they've got some similar ones in this year as well then i have these red um, placemats these are just felt placemats which i think were from I think they were from the pound shop. I'm not entirely sure where I got them from now, but I know they do similar sort of things. Again, this time of year, all over the place. Then over here, I have got my biscuit barrels, my biscuit jars. Now these we have out all year round anyway, but at this time of year, I am gonna put some ribbon on them and I've made some little tags, which I'll show you as well. But this one was from the pound shop and they, I know they have those in at the moment. And this one is just a big snap kilner jar, which you can get from places like The Range or on Amazon. This is my tray that I'll be using, and this is from the Pound Shop. They do them in this sort of creamy off-white colour. They also do them in grey. And then this is going to go on the wall by the Hot Chocolate Cocoa Station. I've had this for absolutely years. It was from a local garden centre, but you can get signs like this online at garden centres and all different places again this time of year. You'll be able to pick something up or have a look on Etsy. Um, I mean, if you make signs like this, feel free to drop yourself a little shout out in the comments. Um, but yeah, it's just, I thought it was really kind of cute because it goes with the snowman, which I'm just gonna point out, I chose this snowman stack on purpose because it had a little defect there. It looks like it's got snow on his nose, but I thought if I don't buy them, no one else is gonna buy him. So I chose, chose him because he was slightly defective. Um, I've got a jar here, which again, I have no idea where it's from. We've had it for years. Um, which is what I'm going to pop the cocoa in and then this is just a jam jar that I've washed out another little kilner type jar that I've, I've cleaned out ready for today then these are just some pom-poms that I've made I use pom-poms all around the house and I'm actually going to do a little video to show you how to make a pom-pom wreath and a pom-pom garland they're a really great thing to do with kids during the holidays um, the Christmas holidays if they're a bit bored pom-poms are brilliant they keep them occupied for ages then I've got some ribbon, these little tags that I made. I'll insert a little clip of how I made them. They're really simple. I just bought a little stamping set, which I've had again for years, because I do like to be a bit crafty. Um, and I just stamped those out onto some craft paper and craft paper tags and put them on some jute twine. And I'll pop those onto the different jars. Then onto a few of the little bits that I've, I have purchased. I got this little nutcracker. These were all from the pound shop. I got this little nutcracker. I think he's so cute and he's got like the little thing on the back. He actually like properly works. For a pound, I thought he was lovely. Then I got these two little snow globe dome things and they've got lights in them. 
so I thought that was really cute and it's the warm white light as well which is the, the type of Christmas light that I really like I don't really like the blue light so I was really pleased when I switched them on and they were white light and they are in store now they do some that have glitter on the bottom but I just wanted these plain white ones this one has got like little reindeer in and then I picked up this little car because I just thought it was really cute and I wanted one of these little trees and I couldn't find one anywhere so I've grabbed that one again these are all from the pound shop which I just think is brilliant this little croc reindeer which I thought kind of sits nicely with the theme and then this little letterbox these, these are all Christmas tree decorations but I'm just going to sort of hide the little ribbons out of the way and this says uh, happy new year merry Christmas on it so I thought that would be cute to sit on there as well and then I got these from Aldi which are little tongues because we do try and encourage the boys to use tongues when they're getting biscuits out of the biscuit barrel just for hygiene reasons um, and I thought when I saw these they've got like little Santa gloves on I thought they were really great they were just $1.99 I've got some little battery operated lights there which are just from my stash of um, wedding decor surprise supplies that I have then the edible sort of stuff, I got some sprinkles from, again from Aldi, I think these were 69 pence um, a jar, these ones have got like the little balls and the little snowflakes in and then this one has got sugar strands in, in like the pearlescent sort of, there you go, it says on there, red, green and white strands, so they'll look really cute on top because we always have squirty cream in the fridge as well, you've got to have squirty cream for your hot chocolate. Some mini marshmallows, this packet's already been opened. Then I have bought some hot chocolate, instant hot chocolate powder, that's just the one that the boys really enjoy so I've just got stocked up on extra of that. Then I did buy a whole packet of candy canes but the boys found them so I'm now left with just a handful of candy canes but we'll make them work. And then ginger nuts just to top up the ginger biscuit barrel, I've just got the rose gold lid on it. We always have ginger biscuits in this time of year because the boys have realised they are like gingerbread men and they just absolutely love them. Whereas they can't eat a whole gingerbread man, they will eat just one or two ginger biscuits and it kind of satisfies them. So that is all the things that I will use. So I'm just going to go in now and clean down the table and get started with putting it all together. Okay, so the first thing that I did was I just grabbed my method spray and the dishcloth and I just gave the table area a really quick wipe down this is just the method antibacterial spray i did the dado rail as well so that there was no dust or anything because there is going to be food on here i wanted it to be really nice and clean so just wiping it all over all down the sides and that's that part done then i moved on to setting out like the base for the hot chocolate station so i popped down one of the felt mats the tray that i had from the pan shop and then the tiered stand I put in the one corner so that it gives it a little bit of height in that one corner. Then I moved in the cookie jars next. I popped those inside the tray. And then brought in the snowman stack of mugs and popped them next to the three tiered tray. Then just moving in a little bit closer so you can see I grabbed the candy canes that are in the little jar there. Popped those on the top and then brought in the santa mugs and brought those towards the bottom because they are quite big i needed them to be able to fit in there and had to move the handles around so that i could get them to fit quite snugly in there but i did it then i brought in the little reindeer just making sure i cut all the tags off everything as well and really at this point i was just putting things in moving them around a bit and making sure that everything fitted so filling up the jar with mini marshmallows was my next little job. I absolutely love these. The boys love these as well. I'm going to have to be careful that they don't come in and just keep helping themselves to it because it's going to be sugar rush central in our house if they keep doing that. So again, like I say, just moving things around, making sure it looks really cute and just adding little bits to the tiered stand as I was going along. Now I've looked at loads of these trays and these um, tiered stands on Instagram and just trying to build up different levels, different heights, putting the lights in there and adding a few different textural things. That's why I use the pom-poms, which you'll see me pop on in just a second, just to add a little bit more kind of texture to it. And I absolutely love that little trinket box, the little hanging mailbox from the power shop. It's just so cute. So I'm just arranging the pom-poms on there now. 
and giving it a little fiddle about with just so that I know it's sitting right and looks exactly how I wanted it to look. But like I say, if you want inspiration, head on over to Pinterest. There's so many examples on there of really beautiful hot chocolate stations and different things you can do with these tiered trays throughout the different seasons of the year. It's something that once you've got it, you can use it in your home decor loads. So next up, I moved on to the little cookie tray and I just added the little nutcracker on there and the tongs and the little car, which Zach has already taken off. I'm just editing this now, doing the voiceover now. He's already taken it off and been driving it around the floor in the kitchen. He loves it. Then I popped the sprinkles onto the display as well. I popped those onto the stand and then went on to add in this sign to the wall, which I've just blue tapped to the wall. So I'm hoping that that will stay in place. Then I just filled up the jar with some of the hot chocolate powder. made a little bit of a mess I had to clear that up I spilled some of the chocolate powder I'm just going in now and adding all of the little hand stamp tags that I made on the craft card to all the jars I then added a strand of fairy lights they are just the little warm white lights. They're going to look really cute of an evening once it goes a little bit dark. And these ones have got two settings so that you can have them static or you can have them twinkling. So I'm really excited to see what they look like of an evening, especially with the little snow globes on the stand. I think the lights are just going to really add to it. So here's the finished display, I'm so happy with it, it's so festive and a really great addition to the house over the Christmas season, the boys are going to love it. Hopefully going to get the boys reaction when they come in from school and we can make some lovely hot chocolates with them when they get in but I've really really enjoyed making this video so I'll leave it there, I really hope that you've enjoyed it as well and like I say if you do want to stick around and see more do remember to hit the subscribe button and I will see you all soon, take care guys, bye! Come on then! Come on then! Oh. Hot chocolate station! Is that a good surprise? Yeah? So now we can make hot chocolates. We've got cookies there. We've got some new little tongs. Look. Are you excited for a nice hot chocolate while we watch a Christmas movie then? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Is it good?